everybody. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Glad to have you back here. Happy to be back myself. You know, summer is vacation time, and so I asked what foreign country you would most like to visit. Here are some of your answers. If I've been to the country, I'm going to give you a quick review. Fimat said Canada. I've only been to Toronto, but I love it. I've also been to Niagara Falls. Uh, is a beautiful country that I hope to explore more of. Easy running Scotland. Would love to go. Twinkie Nines, New Zealand. I've spent time in both uh, Auckland and Wellington. Beautiful country. Would love to go again. Just beautiful land. Relaxing. And you can go visit Hobbiton and see where that stuff was filmed. Very cool. Matthew Brutus, Italy. Been there a long time ago. Loved it. 24 Michael 3, Japan. Aurore, France. Love France. Been to Paris. Been to the south of France. Love them both. Hope to go back. J.S. Moore, Ireland. Gamma Debbie, Greece. Swag Saba, England. Have been there not for a long time. Would love to go again. Fantastic theater and a ton of great day trips if you're in London proper. Tennis 921, Holland in the Netherlands. Loves windmills. Cat Meow, South Korea. Plin H61, Australia. I have been to Australia as well. I performed in Australia and New Zealand on a tour a long time ago. About eight years ago, actually. Loved Australia. Only really spent time in Sydney, but would love to explore other areas of that country slash continent. Rafael Salz, Spain. I've only been to Barcelona. Loved it. Would love to visit more of Spain as well. These aren't the best reviews, I know. Rotten Doberman said Australia as well. Australia, England, or Mexico. I've been to Mexico just a little bit uh, on a cruise, oddly enough, uh, considering I could drive there. Aquamarine Dream 8, Bangkok, Thailand, and Nisipu, Iceland. Great choices, great answers. Thank you so much. Hello and welcome to another beautiful week here at Daily Trivia Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. You'll be putting your brain to work as you play for today's grand prize. Take a look. That's $1,000. Whoops, there it is. That's $1,000. And everyone who can correctly answer these 10 multiple choice general trivia questions will split it. In this game, you'll earn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. If you win the game, they are automatically added to your prize. Otherwise, you do have to claim them at the end of the game in order to keep them. Now, the first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin to give yourself another shot at the grand prize. You can do that either using SB or with a free rejoin. If you click the plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu anytime a game's not happening, you can get free rejoins by watching videos. That's just a free tip from me to you. Each game, we give away a 500 SB prize to one player who wins and claims at least one SB in the game. And I do have the winner from Thursday's game. It was Loops Castle 101175. Congratulations to you. You've already been credited. Enjoy those 500 SB. Everyone else, you know the drill. Keep playing and claiming because next time, the winner could be you. All right, now the comments are going on a break so I can get to work and you can get to playing. Here is question number one. Which airline uses the slogan, the spirit of Australia? Is it Delta Airlines, United Airlines, or Qantas? See, we asked about traveling to Australia. You'd probably take this airline to do it. It's the official airline of Australia, and its safety record is the reason why it's Raymond Babbitt's only airline of choice in Rain Man. Qantas is the answer. Qantas, yes, 91% of you getting that one right. Well done. Now, of course, if you follow us on Twitter at SB Daily Trivia, you would have gotten a little hint to that. We, let, we shared a fact about Qantas. Why would we do such a thing? Because we want to help you out and educate you at the same time. Let's move on to question number uh, two. We're, we're going to go in order here. Question number two on the way now. It is worth one bonus SB if you get it right, as will all the questions from here on out. Here's question number two. Where are your sinuses located? Are they in your feet, your head, or your chest? Where are your sinuses? If you're from where I'm from, it always sounds like you're having sinus problems. When cold and flu season gets followed by allergy season, your sinuses are going to take a beating. And when they get infected or inflamed, sometimes your whole head hurts because that's where they are. They're up there in your head and your face right behind your cheeks, to be precise. 97% of you getting that one right. Well done. I should point out that right now we have 
just about 15,000 people in grand prize contention. Over 15,800 people playing the game right now. Love seeing that. Always happy to see a bunch of people turn out. That's good news for us. We want more of you here playing the game so that you can answer questions like question number three. It's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. In which card game do players build and win a pot? Is it Skipbo, Uno, or Poker? I love all three of these games. Play them all. You can play for pretzels, pennies, or millions of dollars. And with countless varieties of the game to play, poker can be either a hobby or a profession. Poker, of course, is the answer. 90% of you getting that one right. Well done. Uh, Skippo is more similar to Uno. They're kind of like uh, cousin games. You're just trying to get rid of cards. There's no pot. There's no gambling there. Uh, I really love, if you love Skippo and you haven't played Phase 10, you're really missing out. Speaking of Phase 10, of the 10% of you, who got out on that, most of you rejoining. We are on now to question number four, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is, Q4. In Popeye, on which day does Wimpy promise to pay you for a hamburger today? Is it Tuesday, Monday, or Sunday? I'll glad you, gladly pay you blank for a hamburger today. Famous phrase. Wimpy's entire life revolves around when his next hamburger is coming. And if he needs to borrow burger money from you, he will gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. Tuesday is the answer. 68% of you getting that one right. Well done. Just a classic, classic cartoon and comic strip quote. But hey, 32% of you got eliminated on that one. And that is okay because most of you are rejoining. We still have over 13,000 people in grand prize contention. Almost 16,000 people playing the game. And that's because you know not to leave just because you get one wrong. You keep going, keep earning the bonus SB, and then claim them at the end. Let's move on to question number five now, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. If you're tickling the ivories, what instrument are you playing? Is it the harp, the flute, or the piano? Tickling the ivories. That's a new song I wrote. Available on Nowhere. Thankfully, that's just a turn of phrase now, and the keys are no longer made from actual ivory. So we love elephants. But the days when they were is why we use that saying to refer to the piano. That's right. Pinano. 90% of you getting that one right. Well done. I guess you'd be like plucking the horse hairs if you're playing the harp and uh, exhaling into the steel tube if you were playing the flute. There's no tickling. I guess you could tickle a harp. Tickle the horse hairs. There you go. That sounds weird. All right. We are halfway done with this game. Question number six on the way now, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. What type of cuisine is known for its use of fermented foods, such as kimchi and soy sauce? Is it Korean food, French food, or Spanish food? We're, we're taking a trip around the world in several questions here, including uh, with food. Kimchi has become a trendy health food here in the States because it's good for your gut health which means that Koreans probably have some of the world's healthiest guts. I was speaking, of course, about Korean food, and pretty much everybody got that one right. Well done. I should point out we still have over 12,300 people in grand prize contention. That's really good. As we move into question number seven, worth one bonus SP if you get it right. Here it is. What is the name of the robot in the 1927 film Metropolis? Gort, Maria, or Roman? This is a landmark sci-fi film. What is the name of that robot? Fritz Lang's groundbreaking sci-fi movie is a real trip to watch. And the moment that the robot Maria is brought to life probably blew some people's minds back then. Maria is the answer. Oh, 14% of you getting that one right. That was the brutal question in this game. 86% of you getting eliminated. But... This is the chance to rejoin. Gort, by the way, is from the day the Earth stood still. These are all three uh, robots from sci-fi films, but only Maria. That is the female robot that you see, uh, even if you've never watched the film on the poster. That's sort of the famous image is this female robot. Her name is Maria. Of the 86% of you who got eliminated, we've got about 60% of you back in. We're up to almost 8,000 people in grand prize contention. And only three questions remain in this game. And I like that people are sticking around. Good on you. Here comes question number eight worth one bonus SP if you get it right. Where is the largest canyon in the world? Is it in New York City, Detroit, or Nepal? Where could the largest canyon in the world be? 
With a depth of 18,278 feet, the Kali Gandaki Gorge contains the major stream of the largest river in Nepal, providing the country with one of its biggest sources of hydropower. There's a fun fact for you. Nepal is the answer. You didn't need that fact. Most of you already knew it. 93% of you getting that one right. Well done. That's what I like to see. Only two questions remaining in this game. Can you feel the excitement? Here comes question number nine. Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Justin Trudeau has served as prime minister of what country? Is it England, Canada, or Spain? Who is? I mean... You know who Justin Trudeau is, right? You know where he's been hanging out. He was elected in 2015 after serving for two years as the head of the Liberal Party, and he could eventually break the record for time spent as Canada's head of state. Canada is the answer. 6,850 of you have made it this far, and you are ready for our final question. Uh, we got so much fun stuff coming your way this week. But first, a quick reminder that there are two ways to get SB from Swagbucks Daily Trivia outside of these amazing live games. One is through the Daily Trivia Challenge. That is the once-a-day, hostless version of our game that you can play on your schedule. Second is by clicking the More Ways to Earn button wherever you see it in the app. Those are both ways you can earn SB towards your daily goal, even when you don't hear the sound of one of our voices coming through your phone screen. Now, before we get to that final question, Smarty Pants Kids multivitamins are packed with over 15 premium nutrients, including omega-3 EPA and DHA essential fatty acids. They're designed to support immunity, bone health, energy metabolism, and more all in one delicious non-GMO formula kids love. And right now they can also earn USB. Here's how. Add Smarty Pants Kids multivitamins to your list of magic receipts. Then buy one bottle of Smarty Pants Kids formula at any store and earn 300 SB when you upload a photo of your receipt as proof of purchase. Buy two on the same receipt, though. And guess what you'll get? You'll never guess. That's right. 900 SB. Yes. Huge money on the way. Always get two bottles. Always good to have a backup. You do have to be a U.S. player to take advantage of this opportunity. But please, I encourage you, check it out after the game. Speaking of which, after the game, let's go to the end of the game right now. Question number 10 on the way. 6,866 people vying for a piece of our $1,000 grand prize. Almost 16,000 hanging around till the end. And I got one more bonus SB for anyone who can get this final question right. Here it is, question number 10. Which of the following words refers to something that is placed in the wrong time period? Is it, an, is it anachronism, boondoggle, or antithesis? If it doesn't fit, it is the wrong time period. That would make it a what? Maybe the best example of this is the Starbucks cup that appeared in an episode of Game of Thrones. Unless they have a location in Westeros, that would be an anachronism. Anachronism is the answer. 5,015 of you knew that one, and you are splitting our grand prize. Well done to each one of our winners. I mean, it's also, uh, uh, there's no Starbucks in a fantasy world, but that's beyond the point. Let's meet some of our winners, shall we? Each of our grand prize winners taking home 20 SB in grand prize money, plus the bonuses they earned along the way. Devry, Devry Shelby, you are a winner. Don Angel, you are a winner. Therese Marie.